welcome or welcome back to Penny's Two Cents. It's your girl Penny. Today, guys, I'm doing something a little bit different, a little bit more exciting, I guess. So anyway, I was feeling tacos, okay? And I did not want to go to a chain restaurant or a mom and pop restaurant. I wanted to find a good taco truck, okay? Now, I'm going to give you a, a good pointer, guys. I don't know if this works in every area, but I saw this on Facebook, okay? It's an app. It's an app you can get. It's called Street Food Finder App. Street Food Finder App. I'll write it up here so you can see exactly how to spell it. You can go on Google Play Store. You can go on the Apple Store and download it for free. So you bring it up and it'll tell you if the food trucks in your area, you know, say where their location is. In the app, it'll tell you today at whatever time to whatever time this food truck's going to be wherever. And you can go and get it. You can go and get it. Greek food, Indian food, whatever food trucks are in your area. So it's called Street Finder app and I use that. And I got me some Berea tacos. I've only had them one time at a restaurant. I've always wanted to try them from a food truck. I've always heard food trucks, they're hit and miss, but I've always heard that the best ones are from the food truck. That's what I've heard. I also got um, some churros. They gave me two big churros in here. Check those out. That's for dessert. Now I wanted to get horchata. And what's good about that app, it has the menu. Most of them have the menu so you can kind of look and see what they have if that's what you're wanting to get, okay? So, before I get into eating this and telling you what I'm tasting and letting you know if these Berea tacos are any good, I want to ask you guys, please subscribe. Show the subscribe button some love, guys. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it. It's free, it's easy. If you've already subscribed or if you don't want to subscribe, I understand, but can you give me a thumbs up just asking for a little support and I thank you for it if you do those things. I thank you guys. Thank you for the support. Okay, these Berea tacos smell so good. I opened them up in the car. Oh my goodness. So if you've never heard of Berea tacos, I'm not a professional cook. I've looked it up because I was like, can I make these at home? I don't know. But they take a, I think these are flour tortillas. They might be corn. I'll let you know if I can tell. But they take and they roast their, or simmer, stew their meats onions, cilantro, all those seasonings. And what makes it a Berea taco is they put like the the juices that they stewed their meats in, when they put the taco together, assemble the taco, they put that like fatty broth down on the grill and they like put the taco right in that broth and it grills it on the grill and gets all that flavor in it. Then they also give you I can't show you, but they also give you, it's a consomme, it's all those flavors in like a, a broth. And you dip these tacos in this consomme. Okay guys, <sighs> I am so, so excited. I kind of want to show you a taco though, see if we can pull it apart a little bit. It is steaming hot. So there's the meat, see the steam, the cheese, the onions, the cilantro. And she even asked me, onions and cilantro okay? I said, oh yeah, everything is great. So let's do this. So I do want to put some of this lime in here. I want it to be authentic. So I'll flop it open here a little bit. I'm going to squeeze some of this lime down in here. Woo. Lime rain. And this is the way you're supposed to eat it, guys. You're going to dip it in this consomme. A big dip. I gotta find a napkin. Mm. Mm. Okay. They used a corn tortilla. The cheese is so good. I think it's a mixture of um, like queso fresco, maybe a little co cojiga because it's got that little bit of a salty. Oh my goodness. Here, I'm getting another dip. Mm. Mm. <laughs> 
these are at least as good as the ones I had in the restaurant, if not better. I don't know, they're hotter, they're fresher tasting. I saw them like cooking them in the truck. Oh my goodness, and I looked in the back of the truck, they're super clean. Okay, so if you're in Columbus, Ohio area and you really wanna try this particular truck, food truck, it's called Taco Mania, Taco Mania. So you can look it, I'll put the name up here so you can get the spelling right. You can look it up on Facebook. They probably got a Facebook page telling you, you know, where they're going to be at what certain days. If you're in this area and you want to try this Taco Mania, Burrito Tacos, they have a whole bunch of other things too. They have burritos, other tacos, uh, burrito bowls. They have a whole bunch of other things. And if this is as good as, I mean, this being as good as it is, I would say all their stuff is fantabulous. I would say. If I had to score this, guys... I couldn't make this at home. I love this. I'd have to, I mean, to be honest, I have to give this a perfect 10. I have to. That's the rating on this. I hate to give out 10s, but I can't make this at home. I could come close, but I can't make this at home. And every time I see one of these Taco Mania trucks, I'm going to want to get this. So it deserves a 10. Now they are a little pricey. Okay. I like to support small businesses. They are a little pricey. So these three tacos, you saw how big they are. They're charging $13 for these guys. But I'm going to taste, I don't have a spoon with me right now. I'm going to taste a little bit of this consomme just to let you guys know. Mm. It's got like fresh green onion in it, fresh white onion in it. It's got like a porky, beefy flavor. A little, not salty, but it's got the seasoning in it. It's not spicy. It's not spicy. There's no, no warmth in my mouth, so no spiciness going on. I am so glad that I found this app, the Street Food Finder app. This is not spen sponsored in any way, guys, but look it up. Street Food Finder app on your Google Store or Apple Play Store, whatever you call that. <laughs> look it up. See if it works for your area. Download it, you know, and pull it up here and it'll ask you like what area you're in or whatever, what's your zip code, and it'll give you a list of the food trucks. Look it up and see if it works in your area. So... I mean, I've been told North Carolina, Texas, it works here in Ohio where I'm at. So it's a good chance that it probably will work for you. They gave me two salsas here. They gave me like a red and a green. I got to try them. I got to see if they're hot. Let's do a little dip. Do a little dip in that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. This red salsa. It's a medium. Medium heat. It's good though. Really good. It's got a good flavor. It's got like that good, uh, like, I don't even know, like a jalapeno chili mixture flavor. It's good. I'm going to try some of this green, green salsa. Gotta try it, man. Gotta try it. Do a little dip. Do a little dip. This is so hot. Okay. This has a mild spice to it. It's like a tomatillo type salsa. It's got that little bit of a tang to it. A little garlicky. That's good too. Both these salsas are good. It doesn't need the salsa though. It really doesn't. Okay. Let's pack this up for a minute. I'm definitely going to finish these. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. These are not going to go to waste. But I'm going to pack these up. And I'm going to try one of these churros. I'm going to see what the churros are talking about. Like I said, I wanted to get a horchata. Somebody told me, hey, Penny, if you go get Mexican, get a horchata. One of my, a couple of my subscribers 
And I asked the lady, she was so nice. She said, oh, I didn't bring, She, I guess she called it like a bubbler. I think it's a blender and a bubbler. She didn't bring it with her today. But she said, she says he has to, you know, be in that machine. And she didn't bring it with her today. So no horchata today. I said, well, I'll get you next time. And she started laughing. I said, oh, I wanted a horchata. Okay. Let's try these churros. Ooh. I am so happy. I am so happy I tried this today. So I got two big churros in here. Look how long these suckers are. They're coated with cinnamon and sugar. They're still warm. Let's go for it. Mmm. <laughs> so good. If you've never had a churro before, probably most of you have, but if you ever never had a churro before, I'll tell you what it tastes like to me. Have you ever had an elephant ear from the fair? I did a video on an elephant ear, but have you ever had an elephant ear from the fair? That crunchy fried bread, it's kind of soft in the middle, it's crunchy on the outside, got that cinnamon and sugar. This is the Mexican version of it. Spanish version, Mexican version, Latino version. I don't know. Don't don't quote me on it. But that is, this is that. That is this. Whatever you want to call it. Whoever came up with it first, that's that. So, it's crunchy on the outside, as you heard. The inside is, like, soft. It's cooked, but it's softer. Oh, my goodness. This is so good. I lost my napkin. <laughs> my gosh, guys. If you download that app, or if you don't like, if it doesn't work for you, or if you don't like eating from food trucks, I know some people are a little weirded out from eating from food trucks. I can guarantee you, though, this one was fresh. Most of them are. But anyway, if you that doesn't work for you, go on Google, type up Berea Tacos near me. And most of the restaurants that offer Berea will come up and then you can find where you can go get these Berea, you know, Berea type tacos with the consomme. Make sure you get it with the consomme because that dip is just out of this world. It's out of this world. And look it up. If you want churros, do the same thing. Churros near me. And it'll come up with restaurants that have churros. Oh my goodness. Very delicious too. Okay. Now I've had numerous churros. Okay guys. These are good. But. I've had better. Only reason being, I've had some that were a little more, I can't explain it, a little fluffier, crunchy on the outside, a little fluffier on the inside, and they also came with like chocolate and caramel dip. Those were, these are, these are two, but these are just under that. I'd have to give these a 9.5. They are so seriously good though. And I'm not mad that I spent, what, $6 on two of these, you know, $6 together. You get them in a set of two, okay? I'm not mad I spent it that on that. Those are delicious, and I definitely will finish those a little later. Not right now, though. I pace myself. I'm a little full. I don't want to get so full that I can't stand myself because i got to go to work, guys. So I'll start working a little while later. I'll take a break and finish my little lunch there. But it's so good, guys. Look up that app again. Like I said, see if it works in your area. I'm not promising it does, but look it up. I'll tell you the name of it again. Street Food Finder app, guys. Look it up. Anyway, you can look it up on Facebook, too. I think that's where I found it. Kind of like an advertisement. Kind of told you what it does, how it works, or whatever. That's how I found it. So, anyway. 
That's it, guys. I'm going to leave you at that. This lunch was... <sighs> but anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. But most of all, guys, I hope you have a great day. Have a great day. And until next time, bye-bye.